sponsored by Women Technology. Take advantage of our end of summer promotion, offering a $30 off bundle discount on the whole test takeout panel controls through September 2021. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the Mosquito FB Mark 6. We're looking at taxi, takeoff, general flight, and approach and landing. This procedure may differ slightly from the official procedure, but it's tested and it works. First checks behind the stick, pneumatic pressure. Check that that needle there is above 200 psi, and it is. Next, open the window there. Press communications menu key, which is that. At the top, ground crew, wheel chocks, wheel chocks remove. Chief, remove the wheel chocks. Wheel chocks are now removed. And don't forget to close window or you will have a very loud drive. Next, visual check, make sure flaps are neutralized, and they are, and check the handle is neutral and the lock is down, and it is. Ensure our radiated temperature is above 40 degrees left and right, and it is because I've done a hot start here, so we're all good to go. Remove the parking brake just by pressing the wheel brake slightly. Now we're going to taxi. We're going to taxi very similar to taxiing a Spitfire. We're going to have an axis for our wheel brake, which is this lever here. To turn, we are going to apply wheel brake either fully or partially, and then use the rudder to bias the brake to either the left or the right wheel. Alternatively, you can actually turn just by using differential throttle, so engine power just on one throttle, or you can do a mixture of both. I'm just going to do the kind of Spitfire method, just using partial brake and using the rudder. So, easing the throttle. In fact, where are we going? I think we're going over there. Easing the throttle. Bit of brake. So you can see all of my controls throughout this flight on the bottom left of the screen. Stick, rudder left and right, and the wheel brake. Sorry for the noise in the background, valued viewers. The builders are working on the roof as we speak, so it's going to be a noisy flight from that point of view. Centre line of the runway, run slightly straight to uh, straighten out the rear wheel. And power off, brake on. Next, elevator trim. We would propose two conditions, either a heavy or a light aircraft. We've got a light aircraft in this case. For a light aircraft, we would have half a notch down from the middle. So that is the middle. That's half a notch nose down. If you're a heavy aircraft, we'd suggest one notch of nose down. You can take off with up to 15 degrees of flaps if you want, but we suggest without flaps from our testing. So I'm on a light aircraft, so I'm going to go half a notch nose down. The rudder trim wants setting slightly biased to the right, and it is already that essential there. Starboard is right, so it's already slightly right. Aileron trim must be neutral, so check down here. Aileron trim, and it is already neutral. Check our fuel levels, so outer tanks, inner tanks. Set the fuel cocks to outer tank. We usually do this from the uh, navigator seat. You can see these two guys here are both set to lateral outer tanks. Supercharger gear, check the switch is down in low, and it is. Radiators left and right, both on or open, and they are. Before we take off, we want to check she's up to temperature. I would suggest letting her fully warm up before taking off from previous experience. You can see the configuration there for a 15 degree day, 55 degrees for the oil, and 90 degrees for the water. That's our checks done. Let's talk through the takeoff before we actually do it. So, first thing we're going to do is hold the stick back and wheel brake on. We'll increase the RPM to maximum and throttle so that our boost does not exceed 18 psi. The boost gauge is this red gauge, or these red gauges here. As soon as we're airborne, we're going to leave the RPM at 3000 but reduce the boost down to 12 psi. Once we're ready to roll, wheel brakes off, and then once we're above 35 miles per hour, we will release the stick to neutral. Once we're airborne at positive rate, we'll quickly stamp on our wheel brake to stop the wheel spin, and we'll raise the landing gear. And before we do that, I'm going to unsafe the latch there. So let's get it done. RPM, check we're maxed out. Brakes on, stick aft. Increase throttle up to, I think, 12 psi. We'll do this in this case because we're a very light aircraft. Ready to go, and off the brakes. We're rolling. 
Bit of rudder to keep us centralised. Stick neutral. She does essentially rotate when she's ready. I will not need to rotate her. Airborne. Gear up. Check the indicator lights when they're raised. Sure, we're down to 12 psi. We already are because we did a relatively small start. Retrim as necessary. Check that the gear lever has relatched and gone to neutral position, and it has. Now we move into climb. To climb, we want 2850 RPM. So reduce the RPM and 9 psi on the throttle. 9 psi. There, that is our continuous climb. Once we finish climbing, we're gonna go to cruise. That is 2650 on the RPM, 2650. That's the RPM, by the way. That's the boost there. So 2650. And seven PSI of boost. So that there is our continuous cruise. If we're in combat, we can go at maximum RPM, a maximum boost for up to five minutes of use. Although, take that with a pinch of salt because that depends on your airspeed, ambient temperature, altitude, and whatnot. So keep an eye, if you are in combat, if you can, on your oil and your water temperatures. Finally, be very careful of negative Gs and no negative G dives. For instance, watch this. The engines will cut out if you have a negative G, just the way these old type of carburetors work. With that in order, let's turn and head back for base. We'll go for an approach and landing. An approach speed of 180 miles an hour. So I'm coming off the throttle a little. Visual checks, pneumatics, PSI over 200. Check, supercharger in low gear. Check, radiators both open. Check, as long as we're not above 180 miles an hour and we're not, the gear can now go down. So, latch, gear down. Watch out for changes in trim and balance here. Gear down and lights. I'm now gonna lock the latch. Check. Next, RPM levers fully forward. Check. Reapply throttle now with our extra drag. Maintain over 160. Next, we're gonna check, I'm just gonna pause it here. Next, we're gonna check which of our tanks have the most fuel and select that as the active fuel tank. So, those are our inners. Those are our outers. The outers have most fuel, so select the outer tanks for use. And both are already selected on the fuel cocks. Next, reduce our speed to 160 miles an hour and lower the flaps all the way, so. There, and flap latch, flap lever. When you put the flaps down, you've got a massive boost in lift, so you'll need to compensate with your trim and whatnot. Maintain around 160 for now. Check the lever has been latched and neutralized, and it has. Let's make our break. We're gonna work our way down to our final speed of 125 miles an hour light, 135 miles an hour heavy. So about 125 for us in this case. Take your time in this case to uh, get your trim set for the speed. Hundred and thirty miles an hour. Okay. Pretty happy with that. Final. Again, one hundred and twenty-five. Or at least not lower. Make quite a tight final here, so we're needing some extra power. And set us out for set herself up for a three-point landing. So maintain one two five down to a threshold. When I hit threshold, I'm gonna make sure I'm low over the threshold. And I'm gonna cut engine. I'm gonna then glide over the runway. We need a bit of right rudder here as well. In a typical high angle of attack, three-point approach. So cut. High angle of attack for three point landing. 
Get ready for the wheel brake. A little rough, but I've had worse. Balance the wheel brake left and right while applying the wheel brake. Balance the rudder, sorry. And that, sir, is a sound. Not beautiful, but then again, I've only been flying it for one day. So that shows our entire procedure of taxi, takeoff, the whole flight envelope, and landing. I hope that was useful and see you later.